Hi there, how's it going? Are you good? Great, glad to hear it here. We have a box. Here we have Pancake. She is also known as a box inspector. She's been checking this out to make sure it's safe. Now that it's safe, what we're gonna do is open it up, see what's inside and try to make sense of it. Uh, though technically you probably know what is inside of this because of the title of the video and the thumbnail of the video. All right, so here we have a razor. And whenever you use one of these, you wanna make sure that the blade's not sticking out too far because things can go wrong. And if they go wrong with the blade sticking out that far, you could injure yourself quite badly. So what we'll do is we'll just stick it out about that much instead. In fact, what I'll do is break my own rules and we'll do that. Right, so we'll start off over there. Ah! Just kidding, I could entertain myself all day doing that. Slice, slice, slice. And, by the way, it looks as though there's blood already on this. Nice. Right, so we have a box inside a box. All right, so right here it says, deep bass, rich sound. Here comes the box inspector. That's the handle. Yep. All right, so here we have some more packaging. Looks like we have a handle. All right. It's kind of heavy, that. I think I might just put this on my desk. And here we have it. As you can tell, it's not on my desk, but it is a portable Bluetooth speaker. And right here on the back of it, we have an amplifier attached to it which can be taken off to power other speakers and they can both be bought separately. So we have these banana plugs at the bottom. That is what the amplifier slides onto as well as this pin on the top, which holds it in place. And here we have the amplifier itself. All right, then a bit more about the amplifier. We've got a Type-C charging port right there. Here we have a microphone input, or you can use it for instruments, whatever you want really, to be honest. These are for the speaker outputs. Banana plugs go straight into them. HDMI, and this right here, you can plug in a USB flash drive. And on the other side, we have an auxiliary in, which is handy. And right here, we have the power on and off. You've got to press it to turn it on. You've got to keep hold of it also, Volume down, volume up, it clicks. The one next to it, that's for your microphone. So microphone volume up and down. Also, if you press it, that'll skip to the next track. This one will go to the previous track. And if you rotate it, it increases the echo. So that's probably handy when it comes to karaoke and stuff. This one right here changes modes, but it also increases and decreases bass. This one right here is for your Bluetooth. So if you want to connect to something, you press that and then connect. And the little lightning symbol right there tells you when it's turned on or off. Okay, so now I'll show you the way the amplifier connects to the speaker itself. And by the way, this kind of sort of all matches with my DaVinci IQ. Z, plural, uh, sort of, kind of. Okay, so I'll show you the way this slides onto the back of the speaker. There's a little slot right there on the back of the amp, on the bottom of the amp. And what you've got to do is just sort of line it up. So I've kind of got to go like this and feel for it. There it is. Now, push it down. And that's that sorted. As you can see, the top of the amp is pretty much flush with the top of the box. And then what we do is we take it from here and we'll put this right here on top of an actual speaker stand. So one thing I forgot to mention was that this entire speaker is made of metal, aluminium, aluminium. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play some tracks. This speaker is about 10 feet from the microphones which are behind me. And we'll see how this sounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven clicks away from maximum. That's the volume on my phone. The speaker is on max and the bass is also max. First track.
see the drippy, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Up in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on a flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got that, don't fear none. That track just then, I was expecting to be an instrumental. <laughs> From what I'm hearing right now where I'm sat is that this has a lot of low end but it's a lot of mid low end around 40 hertz and upwards it's quite punchy now what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll put it out there and we'll see what it sounds like from out there the whole point behind this is to see if we can get any more out of the low end some speakers actually show their low end when they're here I've got a subwoofer down there I make music and that puts out the low end just fine where I'm sitting. So doing this sort of thing, unless you know what you're doing, it can get a little weird. Okay, so the speaker's out there, doors open. Let's see what it sounds like with that same track we played last. All right, so the low end on that track from where it is now is a little louder, but it's not as though I couldn't hear that when it was here. So it's not really improved the low end that much. Uh, what we'll do now is I'll play a couple more tracks and then we'll do a close up of the sound. All right, this next track I'm about to play definitely has some lows. It's called Sun Sand Sea Subsonics, and this is by me and it's on my second channel. Okay, so about 40 odd seconds is all I needed of that. And I can tell you that the speaker out there is not putting out super lows, it's mostly mids. And the lows you can hear, don't be fooled, a lot of people are fooled by this, they're actually harmonics. And that is how you can hear bass on an iPhone or an iPad, or even a little Bluetooth speaker, and even an Android. Okay, so here we are with a close-up. The volume on this is max, bass, max. Microphone's about a foot and a half to two feet away from the speaker. Phone volume is four clicks from zero. Okay, so that's been a quick rundown of the Abram Tech MK, which consists of the M28, which is the amplifier, and the K30, which is this. Overall, I would say, not bad. Bass, good. Mid bass mostly, 40 hertz and above. Uh, the treble, it's nice, nice and clean. The E600 does sound a little different to this, uh, but 
this can be carried around. It's made of metal, aluminium, aluminium. Also the amplifier on the back can power something else if you want it to. You could even power this speaker by itself if you wanted to with another amplifier. Uh, it's just the connections on the back you'd have to play around with a little bit. But yeah, overall, not bad. Nice 